right, moving on to the NFC East. Odell Beckham Jr. balled out Sunday against the Redskins, but he also balled as in tears. The Pro Bowl receiver was highly emotional getting in a scuffle with the kicking net. Eli Manning tried to calm him down multiple times on the sideline, as well as the Giants receivers coach Adam Henry, who was Beckham's position coach at LSU and was brought to the Giants partly to help direct Beckham's focus. Ben McAdoo had this to say about his wideout on Monday, quote, he needs to control his emotions better and become less of a distraction to himself and to his teammates. It's our job to help him with that process and maturing. Max, does McAdoo have a point? He has a point, but he didn't go far enough. It's not that Odell Beck Beckham is a distraction, Stephen A. Smith. It's worse than a distraction. Mm. He's a contagion. Now, what do I mean by this? Yeah, I need that. I need you to explain that one. I a, heard a movie. I heard a movie contagion. That's right. I didn't know. I never watched it. I didn't know what it he quite He is meant. a contagion. Now, he's an emotional guy. He's got to be emotional. you got to be yourself. But he's got to somehow bring it in enough that he can also be a leader on the team. How is it a contagion? Richburg gets himself ejected. Two per the first guy, the two personal fouls, and he's gone. Why do you think he's so chippy? Why do you think Adams, the guy who walked on the week before, uh, blows what would have been, I think, the punt was 18 yards plus 10 yards because they batted out of bounds, would have been half the distance of the goal, nine-yard line. The Giants would have won the game most likely. Would have scored a touchdown and having, instead of having to settle for a field goal. High probability of that happening. Blew the game on penalties. Why? Why, were the, why was the team so chippy and misbehaved when they were so well-behaved and disciplined in the first two weeks? because they're supporting their teammate. There's good news in the fact that <laughs> Odell's bad behavior influences teammates. The good news is it's an actual team. He's supported by his teammates. If your teammates don't support you, it won't get that chippy. But Richburg's coming up, you know, on Norman like, oh, you got a problem with my receiver? Take that. And, and even Adams and other guys were like, okay, this is a problem with our star player? Take that. The, the rivalry goes up because Odell's emotions, which were not held in check, are bleeding over to his teammates. Now, again, the good news is they support him. And the reason they support him is because he's their best player. Eli Manning was a two-time Super Bowl champion, but the reason Odell, I think, was getting emotional partly was because Eli wasn't seeing him, Eli was missing him. Eli, great quarterback, had a bad game, and at any rate is not Odell Beckham Jr. Odell's the best player on the team. And as such is in a position of responsibility. When your teammates support you, when they want to hit the other team physically and illegally because that team is taking shots at you in the press and on the field, there comes responsibility with that. And I'm arguing he's the best receiver in the game and I'm not backing off of that on the field of play. But off the field of play, Antonio Brown and others are more even-keeled emotionally and mature. So the good news for Odell is he's the best, certainly on the team. His teammates follow him. His teammates support him. But with that comes responsibility. I'm not saying Odell, not saying don't be yourself. You got to be yourself. But you got to bring it in enough and recognize the responsibility that your teammates will follow your lead. I think McAdoo has to sit them down and be like, it's not just that you're distracting them. You're a leader whether you like it or not because of your play. Do you want to be a leader in the right direction or the wrong direction? That's the bottom line. A couple of things that I want to point out. Number one, very, very nice suit. You look very, very oh, dapper today with a three-piece suit. I love You look professorial, suit. which is a very, very big thing. because Feathers turning, got to put on because, the vest. Because, because you, well, listen, because you threw out the word contagious. And obviously, I have an obligation to look out for our viewers, okay? Oh, okay? Because we all know the intellectual that Max Kellerman is. Sometimes stuff just fly over your head. Urban so I took the liberty. I took the liberty of looking up contagion, if you don't mind. The communication of disease by direct or indirect contact. A disease so communicated. Another third definition was this harmful or undesirable contact or influence. Which is where you're going about uh, Odell Beckham Jr., I surmise. Which is why I'm incredibly disappointed with your position, Max Kellerman, because last time I checked, correct me if I'm wrong, is, Ella, is Odell Beckham Jr. still at LSU? Mm. Is this college? No, no, no. These are professional athletes. That means that you go to work. That means that you receive a pay.
paycheck. That means that you are considered a grown-up, thereby obligated with the onus placed upon your shoulders to go about the business of doing your job and performing your duties to the best of your ability. Max Kellerman, the brilliant, you know, eloquent individual that you are, I'm sure you comprehend that. Here's my point to you. How are you looking at Odell Beckham Jr. and saying that his emotions on the sideline, which, by the way, were justified <laughs> considering how many times you so astutely, Max Kellerman, pointed out that Eli Manning missed him. How is he responsible for the actions of, excuse me, for the actions of Richburg and others? You know, I'm, I'm just saying to you, excuse me, wait a minute here. Why are we looking at Odell Beckham Jr.? Do you need to reel in your emotions? I, I, uh, uh, whatever works. It happened, to be his, it happened to be his best game this past Sunday. Prior to that, he didn't even have more than 83 yards in a, in a, in a game for, for, you know, for the first two games in the season. So what I'm saying to you is that he has seven receptions for 121 yards. It happened to be his best game. The Giants had a 21-9 lead. They were in position to win. They gave him the ball. He was making plays, and somehow, some way, because he's a bit emotional, because he was balling in a different way, as Molly Wood so eloquently pointed out, because he was doing these things, he needs to reel himself in because the, the contagion aspect that you threw out there. The energy. Well, yeah, listen, and by the way, I'm not knocking you. I appreciate this because I'm always looking to elevate my vocabulary. I never thought anybody could do it until you came along, so I'm very happy about it. It's just that I'm saying to you, Max, even though the definition of the word is right, I think it's false to apply it to Odell Beckham Jr. because you are stripping the onus, the responsibility of the other players for doing their That's job by acting like There's Odell Beckham Jr. influences them. They, they are certainly responsible for their own behavior. Yes. But let me tell you, as Puff once said many years ago, Stephen A. That's Shakespeare, Puff. As Puff once Puff, said. Okay, I just want to make sure. The difference between you and sure. me as it applies to this argument, the difference between you and me, I tell it like it is, you tell it how it might be. <laughs> this is might be. This is good. Might be. Might be. Not this is not a, not a, this is, not this might be. is the reality. Range. This like is really the reality. Range uh, sometimes Shakespeare, sometimes. I don't recall, Puff. I, like I don't it. recall Puff saying that, but okay. They're both rappers we'll anyway. I'm saying we'll go with that. I don't recall I don't I listen to him too. I don't Shaky on the dark rapper. Oh, oh yeah. You oh, saying yeah. Puffy, not P. Diddy. I mean they're all the same, but a different time. No, this is from the Puff era. This is from the Puff era. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. I didn't even make Post Puff Daddy. Sure. Pre P Diddy, <laughs> yeah. Puff era. <laughs> now look, you're right. Theoretically, you have a paycheck. You go to work. Why do you worry about what the other dude's doing? Worry about yourself, all that. But the reality is, the group dynamics in the NFL, especially with successful teams, are there are leaders on the team, mm -hmm. and sometimes they're leaders not because of their personalities, but because of how great they are. Sometimes a guy's greatness puts them in a leadership position, whether they like it or not. And I would never say to that guy, don't be yourself. You have to be yourself. Odell's an emotional dude. Well, what are you saying then? He should be emo it, what, what, You have to express your emotions. But there what? is a way to do it oh, where it doesn't go over the top. So we, and want, so yes. we want to define how he... Yes, you got to bring it in a little, little bit. You got to bring it in a little bit really? so that it doesn't become a, a negative <laughs> influence <laughs> on your but teammates. But don't, don't cough too much because I need to come to you because I need, but to, come Stephen, to, I realize I need to come to both of y'all. It's a good Hold sign for the Giants I, I, that his teammates no, want to no, support no, no, him. No, 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 don't, worry, don't worry about that. Let, let's ignore that. Let's ignore that. Ignore that. Let, me, let me reel this in ahead. here. So, Max Kellerman, a couple questions here. What exact emotion do you believe McAdoo was alluding to? Uh, his temper tantrum on the sidelines. No, no, I'm talking about, I know that, but I'm saying which one? Are you talking about when he, you know, the, the, the net hit him Getting in the, in the face? Yes, so I've that, had to see some unfortunate memes back. about right, right, that right, right. as a Giants fan, oh, Stephen. Oh, oh, by crying. The, by Maybe the way, he doesn't want to no, see him getting that emotional Excuse me, tears. I don't think it was the crying, and I don't think it was the net at all. I think it was him yelling at Katz on the sideline to get him the ball to the point where Eli Manning had to go over there and put He's his arm around him and That's talk to him. That wasn't a problem. That's no, what wide receivers Because Eli started do. getting him the ball, they, they started moving the, the chains. I know that. But when Eli didn't no, throw no, no, him the no, ball, they no, lost no, the game. Stay right there with me because that's where I'm going. I'm saying that I'm not, we, we understand that reality. What I'm saying is if you're McAdoo and the quarterback has to distract himself to go over yeah. there to talk to you, 
Now you That's might fair. have a problem. Yeah. So it, it, it amazes me that the astute New York Giant fans that you oh, both are, that you skipped that. You're going to bring up, you know, hitting the net and then it hitting the back. You're going to talk <laughs> about the, the, the ball in in a different kind of way. You're going to bring that no, stuff up I and saw, not, I've, not I've Eli Manning? That, there, was, there was some written about that post-game. I, 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 I saw I, it. Right, right, sure. Right. And the idea is, hey, the quarterback and the coach, if they're dealing with you, they're not worrying about the next right. play. In fact, I disagree with that premise, and I disagree with the idea that he's what merely did... a distraction. In other words, we have to pay attention to you. What, we, don't have a, we don't have no argument no, about contagion no, effect. No, contagion is worse. What I'm saying is not that, oh, they had to pay attention to you, Odell, you were throwing a temper tantrum. Odell's point was right. Throw, you know, it's Keyshawn. Just give me the damn ball. I mean, they had to get Odell the ball. And as soon as they started throwing the ball his way, good things started happening. As soon as that happened, when Eli wasn't missing the target. I mean, you're Eli was making good. my point. What's no, yours? The point is his temper tantrums is what he has to get under control. If that's not what McAdoo is referring to, then McAdoo is wrong. His basic temper tantrums on the sidelines, the heightened emotions to the point where oh, his teammates catch those vapors, Stephen A. Excuse and me. Start, <laughs> and start. Catch those vapors. That's right. Catch those vapors. That's right. <laughs> Rain. <laughs> The Range. I'm, I'm, that's right. I'm, 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 I'm changing the definition a little bit. I understand. From Bismarck I, I, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm you, changing. You can't go, from, you can't go from Puffy to Bismarck. No, I certainly can't. Without telling us. Okay. Without telling us. Okay. Okay. You got to inform the audience. Yeah, but you're, what you listen, gonna say? You're, you're from New York. This. You, Stephen you got what I need. Stephen A. You're from New York. What he say? He no, no, just no, a no, friend. That was years later. I'm just checking. I'm just checking, man. You're from New York for 10 straight years. Eight years, I'm everyone not, said got the vapors. No, I got to intro that no, now. No, no, I'm thinking about our vapes. viewers. Oh, okay. We got viewers all over the nation. They ain't from Queens or Brooklyn. No, or I also, they might not know. I also took, I'm just po saying, I'm I just also <laughs> took poetic you know? license and changed the meaning a little bit. <laughs> the point is, the contagion was the right. heightened emotional right. state. The anger toward the other team, the unchecked emotion, yeah. Odell can play like that. He can do it and ball out. Not everyone <laughs> can. It affected the Giants' discipline and, if, and, in essence, handed them the game. If McAdoo's talking about we have to worry about you instead of other plays, then he's wrong because Odell was right. Hey, worry about me because I can help you win the game. All right. But if McAdoo's talking about that unchecked emotion's a bad influence on the other guys, right. then he was right. I think... Your argument would have been far more profound had you not confused the world with contagion. That's just, oh, me. That's just me. That's just me. It but sounds Biz like but Puffy, 128 Puffy yards Puffy and penalty. Bismarck helped it was a contagion. Puffy and Bismarck helped you today. Yes, thank you. Thank I got you. to give it to you, thank bro. You. I got to give it By to you. By the way, Biz <laughs> helps the kids, too, on Yo Gabba yeah, Gabba. Oh, yes, he oh, does. Yes, yes, he does. 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 Yes, Bismarck is no joke. That's right. Not Absolutely. Let's get a cracker. Let's start the session. Mars lift the competition. Balls by that action. You can never debate it. This is actual fact. Stephen A and Max Kale said they say it's a rap. I'm like, say what? Say what? What's up with all my haters? I'm a ball when I perform. So my jerseys in the air. I'm allergic to my haters. Every morning I put pay up. Lot of clothes I can wear just like them Oregon players. Yeah, quack, quack. What it do? Rap like it's nothing to it. Matter of fact, you can ask hard and I'm cooking too. Base dog cooking too. Mm, nah, look at you. Great mind. They embrace mine like a crook or two. Four takes. That's you. Three takes. Not me. Two takes if you lucky. First take. Stop me. Four takes. That's you. Three takes. Not me. Two takes if you lucky.